So if you remember from the previous slide, we could do use the interfaces or could use the hazard relationship so that we could achieve the modular approach. So let's do it then. So in this case, we have abstract bar, parrot, penguin, something, so on. So let's say that we have iFly interface and which have only method fly and we have another interface called iSwim and iSpeak and so on. So Parrot only implements iFly and iSpeak because they speak and they fly but they do not swim. So penguins, they are uh, swimmers and they also speak so but they do not fly so they're not going to implement the fly interface and ostrich only speak they don't swim don't fly and if we really observe the design it's really a good design there is no confusion with it but the problem with this design is that if you have 100 or 20 classes then you have to write the same methods every time which is also a very wet solution you're writing the same type of code again and again which is really very tedious which may seem very good but very tedious so again we're st stuck with the problem 100 methods we have to write the 100 uh, methods again so we really want to reuse our code and we can't do it here so it's a big problem so let's really do something about it and if you remember from the abstract class versus interface there is the solution uh, exist so the solution can be done by analyzing the problem or doing the problem something differently so here what we are doing is in the properties we are saying that abstract class should also have I fly behavior, I swim behavior, or speak behavior as well. And we have these three methods. So if you have a real world application, you would have uh, the relative methods for that application. And we have an abstract method called display. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the interfaces again but this time rather than just to have the interfaces we are going to implement uh, classes from this interface so we have a fly behavior so which implements this interface I fly and implements the fly method and we also have no fly behavior which will say that the bird cannot fly so it's implemented so if you have uh, 10 different type of fly behaviors just write the 10 different type of fly behavior it's really will be odd if you have 100 types of fly behavior so that will be a good solution so if you have two types of fly solution or 10 types just write it down or write the class for that type so swim we have swimming behavior no swimming behavior and so on speak no speak or silent behavior or something like that so what we're going to do is we're going to initialize these behaviors based on uh, our object or based on our requirements so let's see some of those encoding I'm here in Visual Studio with my strategy pattern solution so I really designed the solution by the class diagram as you have seen in the slides I have done nothing differently than the things are in the slide so I have I swim interface uh, sorry I fly interface which has a fly method and fly behavior a class which implements the I fly so it has a fly method and if you just go to the code you code you'll see that I'm flying that's it that's how simple it is so that's our bird class abstract class which has three 
behavior properties which is based on I fly I speak and I swim and if you just go to the code here in the abstract class I just implemented these three interfaces and I really have three properties public properties with I speak I fly and I uh, swim and I really have a constructor an explicit constructor which really required to specify those three things so in those methods so I have fly speak and swim method so what this does it, it, it really just call the swim behavior dot swim so whatever behavior we pick in the creation time will be just called by the method that's it so it's doing nothing interesting but just calling the behaviors so if we have an error we are just printing it to the console that simple it is so let's go to a class called parrot that how we implemented it a parrot implements from bar and in the base constructor I uh, sorry in, in the constructor I'm calling the base constructor with the new fly behavior parrot speak behavior I have a parrot speak behavior uh, yeah this time I really use the uh, class diagram and copy paste some of this and so some of the speak behaviors are in uh, the speak behavior .cs file so as you can see that I haven't put those into the separate files so I got confused that where it is so the best way to do this stuff is to put those into separate files so I have the parrot speak behavior class which inherit uh, sorry implements the I speak and in the I speak uh, in the speak method I'm just saying that parrot noise that's it so every board has different noise so that's why I just write the different noises and for generally I just put the bird noise speak behavior and in parrot I just implemented the parrot speak behavior and parrot doesn't swim so I just introduce the no swim behavior and if you just go to the no swim behavior can find might be in swim behavior so no swim behavior I can swim and swim behavior says I'm swimming that's it everything is very simple nothing is complicated here but uh, you really have to go through the codes and really have to dig some time if you're new to the coding because if you don't do that uh, it will be really hard for you to understand and that's it and in the display it just says that I'm paired and this is how all the others are implemented so if you just go to the program it's a console app and I'm creating all the birds and uh, displaying uh, flying and calling every method and let's say that what's happened ostrich cannot fly, fly so in the fly method it will say that I can fly but uh, after that I'm modifying the flying behavior with uh, uh, with the new fly behavior so if again if I call the fly method then it will can fly so it's pretty simple Let, let's just print it out and describe every line so this is an ostrich from this display line and it cannot fly because in the flying behavior we have no fly behavior and after modifying the fly behavior it's just a printing statement and then I'm changing the flying behavior by new flying behavior and then it can fly so in the noise speak it says ostrich noise and swim it cannot swim the parrot displays that it's a parrot I'm flying parrot noise I cannot swim so this is how all the others are implemented 
and rubber part is in silence. That's it. So go through the codes, dig into it. If you have any problem, mail me. I will get right back to you. So it's very simple. And try to dig into the code. Otherwise, you can't get it. Uh, let's go over to the slides. And let's see our observation. So this is the much better solution than all the others. And at this point, we could design our or extend our design to any level and we will have really less problem and it will be highly configurable however uh, it solves many of the problem but there is no silver bullet for every problem scenario so use it use this pattern when you think that it will work don't make it a silver bullet and try to solve every problem with this solution pattern that's it